What's going on, y'all? I'm Mitchell Tim Penny, and I'm on the Country Now update. <laughs> I've got three dogs. They're all rescues: Cash, Ducky, and Annie. Cash is a pointer hound, um, kind of that color with the spots. Ducky's a pit bull, uh, bulldog mix, and Annie's just a mutt little terrier. And they're all they're all amazing. I don't know what I'd do without them. They they kind of saved my life in a time when I needed it, and um, I absolutely adore my dogs. They're the greatest things, especially on the road. To come home to dogs, they're just so happy to see you. And um, yeah, I don't know what I'd do without them. Uh, I definitely watch the charts. Um, there's to a point. I let it do what it does until it gets to about this point, and then it's you know it's always nerve wracking. It's exciting, a top twenty song, but um, yeah, I definitely watch the charts for sure. Uh, we got history is it's kind of my mature version of a breakup. Uh, you know, I think that, you know, God blesses the broken road. He leads you to bigger and better things. And there's a reason he puts people in your life, certain people. Um, and, you know, certain people are in your life for a reason. They lead you to the next, the next better thing. And so we got history is basically that. Uh-oh. You want some of this? <laughs> Come here. So we got history is basically just a song about someone that you have a history with, that you have spent time with. but. No future with anymore. And um, yeah, it's kind of just the mature breakup song. Yeah, it was cool. I love I love anything space related. I, I love aliens, I love UFOs. So it's really cool to do like an astronaut's kind of Apollo uh, music video and to shoot that basically like my training to become an astronaut, to becoming an astronaut and the girl I dated in there to her, you know, starting to see somebody else and it was just, it was a really cool storyline and I, and I really liked how it kind of developed throughout the entire story. And so it was a lot of fun and I got to put on a space suit. So I'll take it. I don't know, I might've been abducted at some point. I'm not sure, but I, I don't know. I always loved alien movies growing up. I, I truly did. Um, like the movie Signs and just, I don't know, just the curiosity of does something else exist out there? And and I don't know, like Men in Black and they were just fun movies for me growing up, so I've always been interested in it. And I've seen some UFOs before. I've seen, I don't know if they were aliens or not, but I've seen UFOs, so I'm definitely a believer. I've seen them. I don't know, I don't know what's real on that. Some of that stuff looks pretty fake. And I feel like with the technology we have today, there's some pretty blurry cameras. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm kind of the guy that has to see it for myself when it comes to stuff like that, like ghosts and UFOs and aliens, but I have been paying attention to the news as they release some stuff. And uh, I'm not sure, I'm a little skeptical on it, for sure. Yeah, bigger mistakes, I mean, the video is authentic. We were definitely having fun in Vegas. And um, we just, that's what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be real. I wanted it to feel like, oh, we went down. I wanted it to feel like uh, you're making some big mistakes in, in Las Vegas. And uh, definitely had a little hangover after it too. So I wanted to, I wanted it to kind of look like that whole hangover vibe. and. Um, I don't know. I just wanted people to believe it. So it was, it was a lot of fun to shoot that. I had my best friend guitar player come out there with me and it was just a great time. Um, to be honest, I had no idea that that was uh, this exact thing that Ken was wearing. Uh, my manager picked it out with, our, with Courtney, our stylist. And uh, yeah, I had no idea until they made that poster and I was like, oh my gosh. But I just love the tassels on it. I thought it was really fun. Um, yeah, I just, I didn't know I was doing Barbie until I was doing Barbie. It's always the best part uh, on these tours, <laughs> getting to learn how they've done it for so long and to see like what the secret is of keeping a crew together for that long, a band together for that long. And it's been awesome to get to talk to Jason and and just like, just ask him questions and learn and get advice on, you know, how to do that. And he's been so awesome and open and just really, really, I don't know, really kind. I would say that Jason's a super kind guy and and always open to talk about any of that, which has been an awesome experience. Uh, not really, honestly, Jason just hangs out. We we watch, now that football's on, we've been watching a lot of football together, um, play some golf, but uh, Jason, he's so different than like Luke Bryan, where Luke Bryan's always busy doing something. He's all over the place. Jason just likes to chill and hang out, and it's kind of cool to see the different different sides of both of them uh, throughout the tours we've done. I mean, Luke, we, we've gotten to open up for Luke Holmes a few times, and do some stadium shows with Luke. And it's always amazing because his fan base is so open to the openers. And like, it's so much fun to play for them because our, you know, our DMs will be flooded afterwards of new, hopefully new listeners to our music. And they're just very, I don't know, accepting of us on stage. Like they have fun. 
They, I know they're definitely there for Luke Holmes, but they're like singing songs. They're singing back. They're passionate. Um, Luke Holmes fans are amazing, and I can't wait to be on this tour. And just to get to play stadiums, that's a dream as a kid. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that's my little home studio. I um, So I'm a nerd. I, I'm a nerd at heart. I love action figures. I'm a I'm a knickknack kind of guy. I love toys and stuff and it's like Pokemon. I still collect Pokemon cards. So like instead of having a diffuser on the back wall, um, which a diffuser is something that like when sound hits it, it just disperses it everywhere. So it's not reflecting right back at you. And most people have those wooden, you know, little wooden pieces that do that. I just put up a bunch of toys and action figures back there, you know, old nostalgic things. I love, I love nostalgic, like action figures and old cartoons and stuff. And so basically my studio just looks like a Applebee's or a Chili's, just things thrown up all over the wall. And I, I can't have, yes, Jack Skellett. So yes, we bought him last year for Christmas. And um, when we took it down for Christmas, I was like, I like this too much. It's going down the studio. So I think it's permanent there. The problem is I just went to Home Depot and they have a bigger one. And so, I don't know, we might have a couple of them here soon. Hey guys. Jordan Davis is one of my, favorite humans on the planet. We've become really good friends over the years. And um, even like right after COVID was ending, me and him got in a van and took off with our acoustic guitars and played some shows. And I think that kind of started the fire for wanting to do this tour because they were so much fun to do together. And just, again, another thing where the, I think the fans, uh, it translates well between both of our audiences. And me and him just, I know we, we have so much in common. We're so similar. He's taller and, and better looking for sure, but, uh, but me and him, I don't know, we just have the same sense of humor. We have a lot of fun on the road and I absolutely love his music. So it just kind of fits. Um, we're good buddies and I don't know, it's just a cool full circle moment to get to do this with him. Hey guys. Well, that is part of it too. You do get a vacation, which is great. You get to go to beautiful Mexico. And uh, and again, I, I love Luke Bryan. He's done so much for our career, helped us out. <laughs> We've uh, We got to do Crash Rock Fly years ago, which was a lot of fun. I've gotten to do farm tour with him. I've gotten to do a real actual full tour with him. So to get to go back, is gonna be a lot of fun. I had strep throat the first time. I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. So round two is gonna be even better. And Jelly Roll has been a great friend of me for, I mean, many years. We're both from Nashville. Uh, we both kind of rooted for each other in the music scene since the beginning. And to see what's happening with him, get to hang out with him more. Cause we don't get to see each other much anymore now that he's always gone too. And so I'm excited to get out there and hang out and get a free vacation. Um, honestly, it's it's been really great. It's been easy. It's um, it's it's been awesome. It's definitely the best year of my life having that support that you know is there when you come home. Um, but we've been together for a minute, and you know, kind of kind of got used to the whole idea of getting married, and it just works. She she has the same dream and goals I do. There's no feel guilty when you're on the road trying to trying to chase this crazy dream, and so we both kind of. Uh, talked about that at the very beginning, and it, it just works out great for both of us. It's a it's a great match. A, a lot. He does he does get confused a lot. Me and uh, quite a bit actually. Uh, we that we as we get older, we start looking a lot more like each other too. His beard's a little bigger, um, but uh, yeah, he he definitely gets a lot of that all the time now. It's pretty funny. Honestly, no. As a kids, as kids, we were always button heads. But um, you know, you get to drink a beer with somebody at some point, and everything kind of washes away. <laughs> I absolutely love having my brother on the road. Um, you know, he's actually just had his first baby, so he's been home for a little bit right now. And I am uh, I miss having my brother out there, just singing singing with him every night, the harmonies. I can't wait for him to get back here in the new year. Um, but having my brother definitely helps, especially when it's chaos out there. Come on, buddy. <laughs> this was me and my brother growing up. I'm in the making music headspace right now. I love it. I've been writing a lot. We've already started, we've been in the studio, already cutting the music. We're going back to the studio, um, doing some vocals tomorrow. We're always just trying to have music ready to go now in the pot. So when we want to put it out, we got it ready.